Hey Cancer, this is Psychic Tracy Brown coming to you today to do your Uranus and Taurus horoscope. What's around you, Cancer, for the next seven years? What does Cancer have to look forward to for the next seven years? Please God, talk to me. Talk to me about Cancer. Cancer, Uranus, and Taurus. Please show me what is around Cancer for the next seven years years. Please email me for your own personal reading at psychictracybrown at yahoo.com. Please subscribe, like, share. going to be selling these wishing bracelets and I'll give more details on the wishing bracelets in an updated video. What's around cancer? What's around cancer and Uranus for the next seven years? All right, cancer. What's around you for the next seven years is victory, public recognition, Um, growth, how people see you, how you are perceived by loved ones, all right? How people measure who you are, Cancer. You will not be able to hide yourselves anymore, Cancer. You are going to have to come out of the pretend closet. All right, a pretend closet. All right, you are gonna have to face um, who you have been allowing people to see and who you really are inside. Cause it's like when you go in your cave, you're like, <clears throat> and when you come out, you're like, hi, hey guys, how's everything? But it's not really you and that's what you're going to be dealing with for the next seven years. Your identity, where do you stand, who you are. Um, who you are. Um, how people see you. Will you be able to rise up or come back and rise up from the way loved ones see you? But it could be a bit of a struggle. Um... And it could be a bit of a struggle if you self-sabotage. So if you say, I don't care, I don't, which is very cancer. I don't care about no one. Very cancer. Um, then you will struggle for the first four years. But I promise you, Uranus will make you change. And there's just no reason to suffer for seven years. You really have to look at yourself and you really have to decide maybe just maybe i'm not operating from a safe place for others maybe i'm giving a presentation of this person but i'm really this person and maybe people see it and you think people don't see it because there's a little delusional going on there right but people know and i'm here to tell you that people see you cancer people already know so, there's a couple of things you can do if you're ready to hear it. You can almost say to your loved ones, how do you see me? You can kind of say that and then hear them when they say, this is how we see you. Because I think it'll be shocking. I think it'll be hurtful because, you know, cancers are very emotionally sensitive. But I think it could be the thing that propels you into change. Instead, I see the first four years as a struggle, all right? And the last three years is amazing. You change, and you change for the greater good, and you're loving and kind, just like the cancer sign represents, okay? Here's what I've noticed with cancers. 
I noticed the sun sign is kind of ornery. You know, is not the description that we see in the books. The cancers are this, and cancers are that, and cancers are... I see the moon and the rising, like the way it's written in a book for cancers, the moon and the rising act that way. So if you happen to be a cancer with the moon or rising cancer, then you have a combination of an amazing inner person and some ornery behavior, but the amazing inner person will win out what you show people. So you may not have such a big problem. But I am talking to mostly cancers in the sun sign that may need some changing. Okay? And you can do it. Because if you don't do it, you're going to be hiding out for the next four years. You're going to freeze up your energy because you just want people to see you this way and you will be unhappy. It will not work for you. And what will come out is the, the, the necessity for change, except that change will come out explosively and none of us want that for you. We don't want to receive it. We don't want it for you. Um, being kind and generous. Um... Offering yourself up, volunteering, sacrifice, big, major sacrifices um, are going to be required of you, Cancer. Um, and it's physical sacrifice. It's physical. You've got to get in touch with the peoples, the homeless, the poor, the, uh, the needy, like the real needy um, children who might need something from you, might need to look up to you and have you give them a doll, you know. It's going to be really, really important that physical giving of yourself is going to be part of what's required for cancers for the next seven years. And rush up and do it. You don't have four years to figure it out. You have to do this right now. You should have been doing it yesterday. Okay. So find an area, do it, and then, um, and if it doesn't work out for you in one area, pick another area. But you seriously have to come out of yourself and give back to the people. It'll be so rewarding for cancers for the next seven years. There are some um, religious issues and and a rebirthing of how you believe. It's almost like you secretly believe in a metaphysical world, but you don't want people to know it. All right? And there's this internal fight between, you know, wanting to believe, like let's say, in a psychic and wanting to trust God in a process. But... You kind of don't trust God in the process. Do you know what I mean? So you're having this internal battle and you think you're going against God, but you don't even go to church. You don't even go to God. Do you know what I mean? And then you've got this secret love with like YouTubers and, you know, I just, I don't like this, but I just watch it. I don't like it. Mm, but that'd be kind of true about me. Mm, I better watch out for, you know, July this month because uh, that YouTuber said, come on, cancers. There's going to be a rebirth in what you believe and the rebirth could come from a point of um, uh, death, but in a way where it's like, I used to be this way and now... I don't care. If you want to believe in, you know, this or have this philosophy, I don't care. All right? So it could be a, a rebirth of yourself, your inner self, and how you merge that into how you were raised. And do you really care anymore? And do you make a public annou uh, an, uh, announcement? Do you say... I believe in this, or you do you just start to say, ah, who cares? 
who cares if somebody does this? Who cares? Like, I don't care. I just care that the person is happy. And my view doesn't matter anymore. I think is what I'm trying to say, right? But the, the fight is on. The fight is on. And if you, you're getting a lot of, a lot of this for the next seven years, Cancer. You're getting, if you don't, be, you know, if you don't take care of the alternate core beliefs inside your system, um, even that becomes self-sabotaging. All right? Like, it's almost like, like saying aliens don't exist. Like, ugh, those people that believe in aliens, screw them. And then an alien comes to your front door and you're like, and then you're like, I believe, I believe, I believe. Or, you know what, it could even be in reverse where you have this alternate belief in cult-like beliefs. Cult-like. And then you realize that you haven't been nurtured well and you're done with this. And you, you become born again. You wake up from this cult-like um, belief system and you're done. And, and you have to get out. But getting out could mean like really like fighting your way out. Um, but interesting enough, once you wake up, nobody can put the toothpaste back in. It's like I see that the way I've been living or operating in this cult experience has been harmful and hurtful to me and others. Like it's just a, it's a light switch and it's like I'm out. And yet making the announcement that you're out or um, getting out could be detrimental to you because cult-like people don't need you to change. Cult-like people, very similar to how religion was formed to get everybody in line into this belief system and don't believe in this, believe in us, um, except that, at, and I think religion might have been extreme too at some point, and cult is now extreme, and so it's going to be absolutely necessary for you to make a decision, dark or light. Cult-ish experiences are dark, and you wake up, and so there's this and, and remember, if you decide this, this is where you're the Harriet Tubman of, you know, religious experiences. You know, this is where you're the leader, and this is where you may need to stand up. And it's not going to be easy, so maybe in the next seven years, it could take you four years to make this decision. But, but it's going to occur regardless. Like, you're not going to not, 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 going to make it even be able to change. Once the change is there, you will embrace the fact that what you're doing and how you're operating and your belief system, um, all of that just needs to change. All of that just needs to change. Um, and that includes, it could be basic, like participating in something with Catholicism to bring about global change. Um, or it could be something as extreme as cult like experiences that you can no longer invest in so there's some heavy stuff going on here but the interesting part cancer is that because of your kindness and your generosity and because you're ready to take a stand and you could move mountains so i see you as this but there will be backlash and a fight but i still see you as winning um, and winning could also mean walking away from an experience with your tail between your legs. But the sun is here, you know, and there will be, uh, I feel like there's going to be a male leader that you're going to have to um, walk away from, a male leader in this whole experience and identity for yourself and how it falls in with your fight, your fight for self, your fight for you know, coming out of the, you know, the, the personality closet, this is who I really am, and 
this is who I'm going to be. So you have a real experience your uh, in Uranus and Taurus, Cancer. You have structural inner change, emotional strength, emotional change that is going to, you know, augment who you are today and who you will be tomorrow. Who you are today and who you will be seven years from now. And and are you going to be okay with the change? I promise you, the change is coming anyway. How you accept and move into this change will depend upon your readiness. Your readiness. Um, and God is patient. God is going to be patient with your readiness. And, you know, I just want to tell you, Kansas, this could come in all forms, right? Let's say you're a medical researcher and... They are doing um, unethical things. You know, again, does cancer sit back and continue to operate this way? Uranus and Taurus doesn't let you. Do you know what I mean? Like, it's, it's about religion, morals. Am I doing the right thing? Am I doing good by shutting up? Does that work for me? Does it work for the world? And again... I see you rising up. I see you at the forefront of change, not without some backlash. Um, but this is another card here where it says, insert face here. There's no face here, and I like that. Insert face here. This is your face right here. There's a baby at the base of all of this. This is a rebirthing, a change. Are you going to be the one capable of not playing along or getting along, but really capable of saying there's something wrong here and I can't do this anymore. This is light. This is the pillar of dark, the pillar of light. She's kind of leaning toward the light, you know? But there's a lot of emotions involved in this change for you. You're going to go through something, Cancer. You're going to go through something. You're strong enough. You can do this. You can be the change. You can change someone else's life experience you can do this but God is a patient God so God's going to wait on you so if this is something that you can't do for the next four years that's okay but you're going to wake up one day and you're going to say I can't I can't do this anymore I'm going to write a book about what I know do you see what I mean like Something about you is going to step out of your skin and something about you is going to say to someone, this is what's going on here. And I'm done. I'm done. Whew. I can't wait for you to have this experience because the sun is going to rise on you. The sun, everything will just rise on you. And I'm telling you, people will celebrate your ability to stand up and fix something. And it almost feels like I'm just one peon in this group, but you're not. You're not, you're everything. You will be everything. Woo! Wow, Kansas. Woo! Woo! Praise God. personal readings to elaborate more on you know what this experience could look like for you personally I am psychic Tracy Brown at yahoo.com I am honored to do this reading for you cancer thanks guys bye